these are, I mean, depending on a, the level of a person, like this rabbi, he was somehow able to do that. But generally speaking, it's very nice that you're, like the doctor is saying here, that you have to be practical, you have to know, and you just have a little das of when you need to go to one person, when you need to take it, the seriousness of the, of the situation. And, and something very special that uh, Rabbi Nachman s indicates in his teachings is that he, the pill itself, it's not that the pill itself heals, but but the actual act of taking it and the organization and the the um, uh, the repetitiveness of the actual taking and thinking like I need to change, I need to fix by actually taking the pill, actually is is, is a major part of the healing itself. You, if you, do you remember something like this? Yeah, Rabbi Nachman says that it's not only Rabbi Nachman. It's 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 all about understanding of healing by the the way the spiritual way of the Judaism. That when a person is make effort and, and by doing things by himself to get things, also it's like a, it's like a building a, a, the right vessel, the right tool to receive the same sustenance he want. For example, even a person is like now we go to totally secure and trust that something that you really desire should happen. The trust himself is the is is the tool that uh, will bring the same sustenance the sustenance he need and want. So also here. The person can't expect that the, the healing will come to him by magic, by miracle. You understand that as long as his, uh, his way of thinking is like in the nature way, as long as he himself don't live by by a law that is above nature, he can't receive anything that is above nature. So the wisdom of uh, healing, that work a lot by the wisdom of nature, this is what fit him to, to, to receive the the, 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 the the right light of healing. But still, the effort they do, it's, this is his power to, to, to be a tool, to receive, to be a vessel, not, not, not a vessel, it's more a tool to receive what he desires. In, in our case, it's like, it's more about healing. And it's, it says that if a person searches themselves and they can't find what they're doing wrong, that they're sick, then they should look and see what's going on with the Torah study. Usually it comes from the Bittal Torah, not learning enough Torah and, and having a Torah lifestyle. And, and that person needs to increase that, and Hashem is looking for this. This is important. You yourself are practicing what types of medicine if some of the viewers are interested in, in contacting you? 20 years ago I started with simple things. Bath flowers remedies, reflexology, naturopathy. But further on I didn't feel satisfied so I just started with Chinese medicine. And I was practiced like 10 years like Chinese needles and more uh, wisdom around the Chinese medicine. Then I felt it's not enough for me and I want to go deeper level. And then I decided that the home classic homeopathy is much more, uh, much more fit the Western person. So I, I learned to, have to learn this way of uh, healing, and I participated for a while, practiced it in my clinic for a few years, but I still felt there's much more than that. And then I start to, to go to search more the power of the mind, uh, how to heal people, and then search very holy books and very old knowledge books. Some of them more from the Baal Shem Tov time, some of them is much older, from the, the, the Rabbi Shimon time, Zohar, or many Kabbalistic rabbis that uh, spoke about matters like that. And, uh, and, and my, you have a website, we'll put a link to it. So my, my understanding is that you're able to heal a person even though you're in Israel and they're abroad, you're able to do that without a problem yeah. through, through the internet and, and work yeah, on it. Because the truth, knowledge, and Baal Shem Tov, but he was a very holy person, and he himself was a person that everybody speaks about his miracles, because he was like breaking the law of nature all the time. So he says that when a person put his mind in every place in the world he wants to put his mind, and he really put his mind there, so really he's there. And he just even go further and say that he's that all of him is there. It's not just part of him there. So it's, it, we can say that if you if you see me sit here and my mind is now. In some place in America, right so the truth that what you see here in my body is maybe just a picture, because a person, real person, is, is mind is this is the, the person. Not where do, where do you body. think I am right now? You are where are you are now? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever your mind is, <laughs> is there you know, also there. Also, uh, if you understand that that you really you really exist where you where you where you put your mind. So it's very easy to go travel all over the world and even it doesn't matter if a person, if, if someone called me from the moon and, and asked me to heal him, 
it doesn't matter because if I put my mind in, on the moon with the person, mm -hmm. I'm really there so I can give him what he need over there. So if I'm not limit, limited in, in places, so I also don't, don't limit it in time. Because if I put my mind in the past now, and I wanted to heal someone from the, to, from the point it's everything began, so I also can put my mind there and just treat him also there. So I can take the roots of the problem. When everything began, so, so you're and healing, healing there. your healing is based on Hasidus and Kabbalah yeah. as well. It's a mixture between natural healing that we know today and the truth of the Kabbalah, uh, or not always Kabbalah, it's all sometimes just even simple understanding of Judaism about the, the, the main soul. But still, also for natural healing, I just took the, the, the way of understanding that also be accepted by the way that Judaism accepts it and observe it. I didn't want to say, take things that, because today in the world there's many kinds of healing. Some of them really even come from people that's, that praise to statues. And we know Jewish, we know it for many, many years, and also I think all the world already start to understand it, that you can't expect from a statue to be, understand you, and, and you can't expect him to give you sustenance in life. And you must understand that God is something really spiritual, something that the, the mind of the person even can understand. And when you connect to this understanding, you really can get some sustenance yourself from this same, the same place that you really don't understand even. I'd like to thank you, Doctor, for meeting with the people here. Thank you. Shedding some light on how we can connect thank Judaism to healing and how we can, like you said, Hashem is in charge of everything, especially sickness. And, and hopefully if you're suffering from, from illness, God forbid, you can find someone like, like Dr. Yosef, that, Dr. Leshem, that uh, puts in the, the spirituality and...